There isn't really a title for the show because it is a uh, conglomeration of work that I've done over the last four years or so. The saturation that was all focused on the, the oil spill in, in uh, the Gulf. It was all about, to me, how, how much pollutant can you bring into the environment before it becomes totally destroyed and saturated. This Color of Hindsight series was based really um, in dream and memory uh, images. This more recent work, um, there is definitely a relationship between it and the group that came before. Every group of paintings that I do, I feel like I learn from and I bring to the next. But I was conscious of trying to go into a slightly different direction. Um, it was still dealing with the ideas of vapor and water and movement of water. And I used to smoke and I just loved the idea of the smoke swirling in front of me and, and sort of creating this veil between me and the rest of the world. But in this case, it's more um, landscape being obscured by fog. I started to incorporate some of the images that I had seen on a daily basis. I do a lot of walking and uh, it's sort of a daily ritual. It's an opportunity for me to just air my head out and, and see things fresh again. The mystery of the way the fog shifts and it comes off the ocean and creeps up the canyons and it uh, has tentacles that reach out up into the tops of the mountains. There's something so magical about it. I just find it beautiful and also mysterious. Degas um, drawings that, and monoprints that he did, remembering images of landscape from a moving train. Coming back into the studio gives me a little bit of distance from the image and I tend to either do little thumbnail sketches on paper just from my memory or um, I do these quick gestural paintings on paper just uh, to get me going. Some of these larger canvases are quite back-breaking to work on on the floor. What's exciting about painting actually is, is the struggle. I'm not so interested in the end result, I'm much more interested in the struggle of getting there. I deliberately left the edges raw. Um, because it just shows the way the paintings were made 
And I think there's a certain honesty in just revealing all that. This sort of netting that could be floating on something liquid or it, it could be there as a sort of uh, barrier to what's underneath. It could also be seen as a cellular structure. It could be seen as something that filters information. It's still new to me. Uh, I'm still figuring it out myself. So I'm not really sure. I want it to be actually open to interpretation. I don't want it to be too literal. They're pretty abstract images. Um, and I wanted to, within that framework, try to get across some, some depth of feeling, let's say. And certainly after some movement and some feeling in the work, I would say if I was going going for some kind of response, it would be to be engaged, to be engaged with the image to some degree and to find it sufficiently curious or sufficiently um, interesting to want to stay with it a while. I think the immediate is not necessarily the answer because then the audience feels like they've seen it and then move on. So hopefully it's not all revealed on the first look. But with this uh, mist and roiling fog, um, I'm just I'm, I'm fascinated with the mystery of it.